Lawrence Vector Flores. He's a medical doctor and he's working with uh, the VCAP. His clinic is in Alcamo. I'm very glad that he testified a number of times of how the Lord blessed him and his family as well. So this morning, it would be a pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Flores. He will share his testimony this morning. Dr. Flores. Distance, 
and the uh, wearing the mask is all in the Bible. I think it's in uh, uh, Deuteronomy or uh, Numbers, uh, part of the Bible where there's lots of rules. Speaking of rules, there are a hundred, uh, a bunch of rules written in the Bible, 613 of them in the Old Testament. And when Jesus, uh, in the New Testament, when Jesus was asked, why are you not following these rules? He is, but he summed, he summed it all up into just two rules. 613 became two rules. And that is, love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. That's one. What's the second? Love your neighbor. 613 became two rules. He didn't break them, he just summed it up into two rules. So, I was asked here today to share blessings. Amen. Amen. So, that in itself is a blessing already. Because God is speaking to us. He wants us to be with him up there. He's resurrected, and his kingdom is up there. He, he wants us to be up there with him. Jesus spoke in parables a lot to convey his message. I think I'm going to copy him to, today. Uh, basically, what I'm talking about is, is he blessed us with this gift. It's a gift. He just gave it to us. We just have to take it. What I mean is, is for example, uh, if you're given a piece of land, he's gonna bless you, that's a blessing. But you have to take that land, you have to work on that land. You have to plant seeds on that land. He will bless you with nice weather, water, rain, all that he will give you. He will bless you with that. But you have to take it. So when he died, it's a process where he's able to give us inheritance. Before you get something, before you inherit something, someone has to die, right? So when he died, he finally gave us his inheritance. And that is his kingdom up in heaven. And all we have to do is take it. Take the inheritance. And, but you have to work on it. But how? Remember the two rules. That's how. Another parable. Sorry. <laughs> parable. He wants us to be a citizen of his kingdom up in heaven. Well, Let's be citizens. How do we become citizens in heaven? How do we become citizens of his kingdom? Well, for most of us Filipinos here, we had to go through a step. Visa applications, we have to be naturalized. No, wait a minute, green card first, and then naturalization, and taking the, uh, the uh, citizenship test. So, we did the work to become citizens. So in order for us to become citizens up there, we have to take it and do the, two, do the work. Two rules. That's the work. Amen. So that is the blessing that is waiting for us to happen. We can speak of human blessings, human needs blessings. I have a job, I have a family, I have a house, a car, friends. Even this place is a blessing. All of these were given to us. It was a gift. We worked for it, but nonetheless it was given to us. But it can also be taken away from us just like that. Just like that, okay? 
look at the uh, people who were afflicted with COVID. It uh, did not pick any person or uh, rich, poor, high up here, low here. No, it didn't pick anybody. It's just, just like that. Okay. Or, or um, I can see that we're all blessed already. I mean, just having a family is a blessing. But again, our children does not belong to us. It belongs to God. And that can also be, our lives can be taken away, just like that. So when our blessings are taken away, don't be afraid. That's what, again, I'm re referencing back to what he said during Easter. Do not be afraid, because he's going to replace that blessing with something else, something better. That is his citizenship up in his kingdom. We just have to take it. Amen. Amen. So, with that said, I would leave the uh, floor to Father, Father Pastor Ryan. <laughs> and uh, uh, don't forget that Easter, it's not the beginning, it's not the end, it's, it's, it's constant. Easter it's not about eggs, as kids would like to think. It's not just about the resurrection, but becoming citizens of his kingdom. And that's what we have to take and work for. Only two rules. No need for visa, green card. Just two rules. That's it. And you're a citizen. Does that... With that said, I bid you all happy Easter. Amen. And that's all for the citizens of God. Thank you.